Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're going to use the Cull and Curve on Surface tutorial definition to create this diagrid that you see here on the left. So I'm going to pull that out right now and continue this tutorial. I'm going to set multiple curves. And then I'm going to go in and delete the Curve on Surface and the Divide Surface buttons. Then go to Surface and grab the BREP components to explode this. I also need to find the center of each surface. So I'm going to connect that to the face and then bring this down and I'm going to reconnect the vertices to the call buttons and then you create surfaces from these panels. So I'm going to go to surface, grab the four point surface, C will go into the center and I'm going to copy this and paste it so I have four of these. And then the first one we're going to the first and second call and the second one we're going to the third and fourth call and then the third one we're going to the second and third call and then the fourth one we're going to the first and fourth call and then I'm going to unex, unex, unpreview the explode and I'm going to unpreview these surfaces since we don't need them until later I'm going to drag this up to here and we need to offset these edges and before that we have to explode this again and find the center of each surface. So grab the BREP area. I'm going to unpreview these. And then go in and copy these call buttons. Did not mean that. Copy these call buttons. And these will go into the vertices also. And I also need another set and these will go into the edges. Actually I'm going to delete this first and manage my boolean collection and delete the last item of each collection because we only have three edges or three points to deal with not four. And then I'm going to copy this and paste it and this will go into the edges. Okay now we can go into curve and offset these edges so as for the curve that we want to offset, the distance we want to offset, and the plane. So I'm going to deal with the distance first. I'm going to slider and grab the slider. Go to edit. I'm going to edit floating points to integers. Upper limit of 12. The value to be 4. And I'm going to I'm going to go to logic. Go to script and grab a one variable expression and convert this into inches. Negative x over 12. and then this will go into D. Then we can create our plane and to do that we'll go to vector, plane, plane three point. A is the center and then B will go into the second call and then C will go into the first call and then this one we don't need so we'll delete that. So now you can see here we have planes on our surface. So this will go into the plane. I'm going to copy and paste this so then our offset, we want to offset the second call of the edges and the third call of the edges. So now you can see that there's offset lines within the triangle. I'm going to unpreview the plane and the explode. And then we need to find intersections between the edges and these offset. So to do that, we can go to intersect, go to physical and grab the curve and curve. We're going to need three of these. So if I unpreview this last call or the first call of the second set here, you can see that there is lines across. So we're going to find the intersection between the first offset and that line. So there's one and then we're going to find the intersection between these two offset curves and then the intersection between the last offset and the first call here. So I'm going to unpreview these calls again. And then we need to create lines from these points so we can fill it these lines. So I need two, and the first A and B will go into the first two points, and then the second line will go into the second two points here, as you can see. And to to do the fillet operation from utilities on the curve, we need to join these curves first. So I'm gonna also grab the join curves. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna join them by holding down Shift. I'm gonna unpreview these, also the points since. We don't need them and these offsets. 
and this we're going to C. And I'm going to grab these sliders and function. And before I plug R into D, I'm going to change this to positive since the fillet will only accept positive numbers. So now we have a rounded corner. So I'm just going to change this to 5 here. And I'll unpreview the join curves. So now you can see there's a there's an arc in our two lines. And then I need to find the endpoints of these this fillet fillet line. So I can create a line between these two uh, between between this fillet edge. I mean fillet line. And then I'm going to join these two starting points and endpoints. So now we have a closed curve. And before we can close it, we need to grab the join curves and put your fillet in first since the order does matter on how you join these curves. I'm going to unpreview these. And then I'm going to grab the planar surface, which is under surface, free form, planar surface. I'm going to connect that to planar. So now we have a surface. And now I'm going to subtract the surface from our original surface. So I'm going to go to intersect and grab the solid difference. B, we're going to the planar. I'm going to unpreview this right now. And the join. I'm going to drag this all the way back to the four point surface and I'm going to put that into A. So now we have one X. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to organize this really really quick. Just make it more compact and then I'm going to spread these surfaces down here farther apart. And then I'm going to highlight everything or select everything except for the sliders and the function and grab the the difference, the area, and explode. So everything except for the function and the sliders. I'm going to copy and paste this. And then I'm going to drag this down to the second surface. And I'm going to reconnect the explode here and the area to the new surface and then reconnect A to surface. So now we have the other, the other ones. And then I'm going to recopy this also and I'm going to copy and paste it and I'm going to drag it down I'm going to reconnect this reconnect this and reconnect this and then I'm going to paste it again and then drag it down here and then reconnect this to the last surface to the last area and to the last difference. So now we have our our different diagram. I'm just going to unpreview these B rep areas since they're getting in the way, giving you the points. So now we have our different diagram. Now there's probably some other things I forgot to oh uh, unpreview here. We, here we go. So now we have a clean surface, and you can toggle the U and V and create a more a better di a closer netted diagram and that's how you create that's how you create this type of diagram and thanks for watching